Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Anaconda in Windows 10 operating system. And then I will also show you how to use Jupyter Notebook and Spider IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's begin. Now to install Anaconda, you need to first download it. So for that just simply go to your favorite browser and in here just simply type Anaconda download then enter. And then you'll be seeing the first search result is www.anaconda.com. So just you know, simply click on individual edition for Anaconda. And this will you know, going to redirect you to this official site of Anaconda. In here, let us first accept these uh, cookies and all. And then you'll be seeing this download button for Anaconda individual edition. So just you know, simply click on download to start downloading our Anaconda. Now if you just simply click on this show in all you can see this anaconda has been you know rightly started. So just you know, simply cancel it since I have already downloaded it. So if I just simply go to my download directory you can clearly see this anaconda 3 2021 05 has been you know rightly downloaded over here. So to install just you know, simply double click on it and let us first minimize our download directory. I'll be also putting this link in the description so I'll be also putting this link in the description so you don't have to worry about these links and all right and you can clearly see our installation has been you know rightly started so welcome to Anaconda 3 and this is basically the installation wizard so just to you know, simply click on next and this is the license agreement so just to you know, simply click on I agree now I am going to only use this uh, Anaconda on this PC so what I am going to do is I am going to you know, just simply check this just me which is also a recommended one and then just simply click on next. So this is going to be your installation destinations that is this they are going to create an Anaconda 3 folder and inside that they are going to be install Anaconda. If you want to change your installation destinations you can always simply click on browse and you can change your basically your installation destinations. And the important thing is you know to have 2.9 gigabyte of C space in your C directory. Since I am using in the C directory, so you need to have the, that much amount of free space in your C directory. And currently the available space is 179 GB, so it's you know adequate. So what I'll be doing is I'll be just you know, simply click on next. Now it's telling that uh, Now it's telling that uh, what uh, now it's telling that under this advanced installation uh, it's telling that whether I'd like to add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable and whether we like to register Anaconda 3 as my default Python 3.8. Now since in my PC I currently I don't have Python installed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, simply check this register Anaconda 3 as my default Python 3.8. But if you have previously installed Python on your machine, you need to just you know, simply check this Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable. You can always check whether Python has been installed or not. So for that, you need to just simply open your command prompt and in here just simply type Python dash dash version. Then enter. And you can clearly see Python was not found. So all this basically means is Python is not installed on my machine. Since Python is not installed on my machine, I'm going to you know, simply proceed to register Anaconda 3 as my default Python 3.8. Right, otherwise you should just you know, simply check this and you should just you know, simply proceed with the installation. So I'm just going you know, to simply check this and then just simply click on install. And now it has you know, rightly started installing our Anaconda 3. It will take a couple of minutes. So what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back after installing Anaconda 3. Yeah. So we'll come back. And now as you can clearly see our Anaconda has been you know, rightly installed so just you know, simply click on next. So it has you know rightly finish up our installation so and then just simply click on finish to basically start our Anaconda. And this will you know, going to open your browser with installation success note and then with uh, Anaconda nucleus. You can you know just simply minimize it for the time being and then just simply click on the search icon and just simply type anaconda 
and you will be seeing this anaconda navigator so just you know simply click on anaconda navigator and this will only going to launch our anaconda and here as you can clearly see our anaconda is now currently launching and our anaconda navigator GUI interface has been you know, rightly launched in here if you just scroll down a bit you'll be seeing this spider so as I have mentioned earlier we have spider and we have Jupyter notebook these two very popular IDEs that are specially used for machine learning so let's you know open our uh, uh, spider IDE so for that just simply click on launch And this will only going to launch our spider IDE. It might take some time if you are, you know, installing Anaconda for the first time. It's totally normal. And you can clearly see our spider 4 is now currently launching. So it's now currently setting up our main window. And it will, you know, going to launch. And you can clearly see it has, you know, rightly launched our spider 4 so it has now currently showing some introductory message so just simply dismiss it for the time being and it is telling the spider 5.0.5 is also available just you know simply click on ok for the time being and dismiss it because this, spy, uh, this uh, spider 4 version will absolutely do fine and it's not currently connecting to kernel so this is a very important step so that this kernel gets connected and yeah it has you know rightly connected right now let's say you want to print something to basically test our spider right so for that just simply uh, use this print command uh, hello world and then just simply click on this start icon and then just simply click on run and you can clearly see this hello world has been you know rightly shown in our console right so this is basically the spider ide and this id is extensively used for machine learning related projects right so let us first uh, cancel our IDE and let us first you know go to our Jupyter ID so for that just again uh, uh, go back to anaconda navigator and then just simply click on launch so this will you know again uh, going to start launching our notebook you can clearly see it's now currently started launching so it will it will you know take some time maybe a minute or two okay it has it hasn't take that much amount of time so it has you know rightly launched so now let us first you know simply click on new and then just simply click on python 3 so this will you know going to open a new python 3 notebook in a new tab you can clearly see this new tab has been you know rightly open so it is currently using python 3 so you can see this python 3 has been you know rightly shown so let's say you want to print something right so just type print uh, hello world and if we just simply click on this run button you can clearly see this hello world has been you know rightly shown so this is basically the interface of our uh, Jupyter ID let's say you want to install some packages for that you need to just you know simply type peep and then you need to give the name of your package and then if you just simply click on run button that package is going to be installed right over here right you don't need to get any, uh, go anywhere so in this way you install anaconda navigator in your industrial operating system and then i have also shown you how to use jupyter and spider ide right so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all